to school. Looks like my place is going to be empty. Aren't you teaching? Migraine. Dad should have been home days ago, not dragging it out for longer. I mean, when did I last have a holiday? That's what I want to know. Well, you did go and play golf at that bar last week. Work, Laurel. And that was one afternoon, not swanning off without any notice. Yeah, annual leave should be agreed by the other directors. When has Dad ever followed procedures? Well, maybe he should. Might stop him acting like a dappy teenager trying to impress his first crush. <sighs> We're having an issue with these locally sourced goodie bags for Kim's Sustainability Awards next week. Nicola's got an issue. Yeah, because I'm on board with the concept. Which doesn't mean praline coming from Glasgow. 232 food miles. I had to check it up on my phone. And the nuts are from some town in Turkey that I can't even spell. Are you serious? Kim just wants to make a name in the local business community. That's why I've been lumbered with organising everything. I don't think she actually cares. Well, I do. I'm all about integrity now with my council plans. Well, then go and show it somewhere else. Stop delaying production and get back to work. <sighs> Stop worrying, OK? Dad's semi-retired, technically, when it suits him, and Manpreet makes him happy. She's using him, Pre. We both know it. Let's hope Nikhil's talked some sense into him. <sighs> Maybe don't mention it to Layla. Who made you boss a girl card? Finally! I was doing my quality checks. Goodie bags today, a bespoke range of home farm chocks tomorrow. Part of your council manifesto, is it? No. Oh, you've been wittering on about it all morning. I have not. Are you only doing this because of what I said to you the other day? And I believe in the local cause. School cuts can't be allowed to disrupt our precious children's education. Ah, you've been working on the angle of that. Well, it's all about the kiddies, clearly, you know. Fertile minds need five-day week. That's my slogan. I think it's catchy enough. No. Well, I'll give you my leaflets when my campaign gets going. Oh, Jay, Jay, um, do you know anything about this order? Uh, no. Hope and Grantly. It's not on the system. Maybe your dad took it. OK, we'll just enter it, then. Yeah, too late. <clears throat> They just called. They want to know what time we're delivering today. Today? Thousand units. Thousand what? Oh, you just have to let me help you. <sighs> How did it go? They said if we don't deliver the order, they're not paying us. And they'll sue us for breach of contract. They'll never go through with it. Oh, well, that's all right then. You know what? Everyone relax. We needn't worry. Oh, she'll stick a brew on her. It wasn't being serious. Right, everybody, let's keep the energy up. Come on! <laughs> a few sweets, hardly life and death. They need to get a grip. If we don't sort it, we're going to lose a fortune. And guess where I'm going to start making savings? Well, it's not that bad, is it? Well, not if I can help it, but we're all going to have to pull a late one, right? Oh, yeah. I've got a physio appointment after my shift. Uh, it's the American one, you know, he's brilliant. I think Jimmy's a bit jealous, but... Yeah, that's all very lovely, but we haven't got time for chatting. All right, excuse me! Go on. Dare you. Unless, of course, you're worried you can't pull it off as well as me. I shall show you how it's done. I've worked on the packing line before, you know. Oh, yeah, for about five minutes until Rishi took pity on you. Watch and learn. <laughs> Fighting talk. I like it. I'll be a lot more impressed when you actually make a start, mind. I'm gonna kill me, Dad, for this. <laughs> right. <clears throat> we need a word, lady. Ooh, you're good at this. <laughs> you don't need to sound so surprised. I'm actually quite enjoying it. Oh, yeah, it's a right laugh. Now, come on, you were doing all really well. All right, we need a break soon, Jay. And a bonus. Well, an order this size must be worth a fair few quid. Mm, too right. I thought you were swanning off to the physio. I'm still part of the team, and I'm not swanning off anywhere, thank you very much. It's important. Right, we will sort something out for everyone, so long as we get through this. You can have your break next. How come? Well, maybe because I'm sticking around longer than you. It's a medical appointment. Is this a good time to mention the Equality Act? You can go next. Right, if this is about Kim's goodie bags, then... No, oh, no, that's <laughs> all sorted. In fact, she's giving me the afternoon off. But guess who's here? Yeah, I haven't got time, Pri. So if you've got nothing better to do, grab a hairnet and pack some sweets. Mm. What's going on? Dad took a massive order from Hope and Grantley and disappeared to Canada without mentioning it to anyone. He should have been back two days ago. 
So please, either help or get out. Wow, charming. Well, anyway, the good news <laughs> is that... <laughs> We're back! <laughs> what do you think? You look ridiculous. Hey, one print bought it. Yeah, for Molly. Only you wouldn't take it off, would you, darling? <laughs> Don't worry. We got her another one. Office. Now. You two, stop eating the order. Don't talk to her like that. That's well, okay. He's stressed. Look, Jay, your father made a mistake, and now we're all pulling together to put it right like one big happy family. Speak for yourself. I'm doing it for the overtime. And the bonus. And the bonus. <laughs> well, there won't be any bonus at this rate. Oh, well, in that case, I'm off. No, please! Look, we've been working flat out for hours. I know, but we're short-staffed. Nicola planned that physio appointment well, didn't she? Well, none of this was planned, so come on, guys! Look, I'm not working past seven, and I want that overtime guaranteed. Yeah, and I've got to go and pick up Amber soon, so... Well, I'll stay as long as you like. <laughs> All night, if need be. We might be on our own. Not quite the welcome home I expected. I'm sorry. It didn't quite go to plan today. Did you call Aisha back? It'll be fine. You'll see. Jay's already annoyed with this. What's it going to be like when he finds out? <laughs> <laughs>